Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the Fair Use Fair Dealings Guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning, everybody. I saw this on a car at the vet's office when I was dropping Finn off and I just had to take a picture. I love this. This just goes to show you that the United States really loves Queen Elizabeth. We all do. We have several topics we're going to touch on today, but hopefully this won't be too long of a video. So let's just hop right in, shall we? Let's go. To start off with, we have another copycat outfit from Meghan Markle to show how much she followed Diana and the royal family. Remember, she knew nothing about them. And for those who haven't seen it, you know, everybody went on about how original her wedding dress was, but actually, yes, it was copied. This says Princess Angela, I believe that is it, of Liechtenstein. I hope I said that right. And as you can see, her dress is a complete copycat of this young lady's dress. All right, moving on. Now, this next bit I'm going to touch on is something that you guys have told me several times. Lots of people have told me they didn't think that Harry and Meghan were actually living in that house in Montecito because it's up for rent all the time and you can rent it for $700 an hour, that they're using it more like a stage. Well, I began to wonder about that. I double checked and yes, the house is still available for $700 an hour. And how would that be if these two were living in it? So I started looking at the pictures of the calls that they make from the house. So let's start with this Zoom call. Can you see the right-hand corner of the couch? I mean, this furniture seriously looks like it came from Goodwill. Here's a better shot. Does this look like a couch that people that are worth 50 and $60 million would be sitting on in their home? This looks more like a staged area to have their Zoom calls, okay? And you see the, 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 the blanket rack in the corner to make it look more homey? Then they simply moved the couch over away from the window and hung three pictures. And again, it's like a stage. It's like made up. Here you go. It, look at our living room. But again, I don't think it is. I almost think it's a stage. Then you have the next few shots where they simply get really close up in front of a fireplace where they put one picture above the fireplace and a plant in the corner. Again, I don't think it's that they want privacy. It's that I think the house doesn't have any furniture. I mean, in this last photo, it's the same thing. It's the couch against the wall. All they did was change the flowers and throw a blanket over that rack thing against the wall. I, I'm really beginning to wonder if they actually reside in the house or if they just rent it for Zoom calls. Now, one more thing. If you looked at the previous pictures I just showed you where they're in front of a fireplace with a tree and a picture on the mantle, here's that same room. And once again, all they did was drag over a chair a dining room table and stage it to look like a desk and and a few accessory pieces see my point yeah this this is so staged okay moving on all right the next story that came out was that Meghan Markle was apparently ghostwriting Harry's memoir I, I gotta be honest they've already reported that somebody else was ghostwriting it but would I be shocked to find out that she had a hand in it absolutely not we already know that she wrote a bunch of his speeches the stuff was plagiarized Harry had never been accused of plagiarizing a speech in his life until he met this woman and she took over. Just like I showed you in a previous video about how he started picking up her buzzwords. Do you guys remember this? It's about being authentic. It was just a really authentic and organic. The interview was about being real, being authentic. So when I hear that she's probably going to have a hand in on his book, I have to be honest, that I don't doubt it. I, it doesn't surprise me. She's going to put things that she thinks will help him. That's what she's been doing all along, although her help has actually been hurting him in the long run. But I don't think he sees that. Okay, moving on to the next story. All right, our next story came out that Victoria Beckham apparently has been taking over the wedding plans for her son, and she's not going to allow Harry and Meghan to attend. I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is true, smart move on her part. Um, they're friends with William and Catherine, and I don't think they're stupid enough to invite all four of them. So let's just see what happens when the wedding occurs. Okay, moving on. All right, we already know about the whole Netflix thing, but... 
people are beginning to question how happy the bosses of Netflix and Spotify could be after basically all they've done is put out a press release for their payment and one podcast. That's it. That's all they've done. So they're saying the nine-figure financial commitment to them was the world's biggest press relief because they haven't done anything. But here's the interesting thing. Um, The two of them are saying, well, well, it was worth the advertisement. But actually, Netflix stock has dropped. They've lost people. Now, Netflix is claiming this is due to COVID. I think it's backwards because if you're stuck in your house, you need something to watch. The article pointed out that when these two start unveiling their TV and podcast projects, if they don't impress audiences, it's over for them because the novelty and luster, I'm quoting, of working with members of the royal family is wearing off. Now, we all know that one of the first deals he made was for the Invictus Games. I did a video four months ago called the Invictus Games Sellout. You guys should watch it. I'm going to put the link for it in the box so that you don't have to look for it. Then I did an update on another video called Cheryl Underwood Hypocrisy and Invictus Game Update. I will also put that in the box. And when you get to that video, go forward to seven minutes and 30 seconds. And that way you don't have to watch the whole video unless you want to. But watch it and see how they're making money off the backs of wounded warriors. I think it's just disgusting. And I don't understand why Invictus is allowing it. I, for one, will not be watching this on Netflix or anywhere else. Uh, Now, moving on, I found the next story to be very interesting. They're saying that Prince Harry is going to go back when he goes back in September for the next Diana statue party. He's going to visit the Queen and bring a Netflix crew with him. He's going to be addressing participants at the Stanford Hall, which is the Army's rehab center. And of course, he's going to have Netflix tape it. I don't believe for one second he'll bring the Netflix crew in to see the Queen, but here's the one part of the article I absolutely believe. The article is saying that there is a thing called Sussex fatigue, and it's already emerging, that Polling by YouGov has revealed that Prince Harry's popularity in the UK plunged by 50 points since 2017 and that he's only above Prince Andrew. And that separate research into Google Trends Online revealed that Meghan Markle has seen an 18.6 decrease in online searches while the um, Duchess of Cambridge has gone up 50%. I think that speaks volumes. There's a lot of talk about this. They've gotten all these lucrative contracts and all this money, but let's really go back to this, okay? Spotify, they did one podcast. I guarantee you, Spotify did not pay them 50 million up front. They haven't produced anything, so Spotify probably hasn't paid them a whole lot either. The children's book called The Bench was a flop. It didn't sell well. The Apple TV series might have made some money for Oprah and him, but the truth is it got a two-star rating. It flopped. They're talking about an animated series called The Pearl, which is another vanity project for Megan. But unless people click on it and watch it, it's going to be a flop. I will not be watching it. And supposedly, they've signed this four-book deal with Random House. But if the books don't sell, they don't get the money. So on top of that, they're now paying salaries of like 10 people to put out PR puff pieces on them. I, I just don't, yeah. I I don't think monetarily they're that well off. I also want to add that there's some articles coming out saying now that Kate is going to work with Megan on some Netflix projects and they're collaborating. No way is this true. It's a lie. But it kind of makes you wonder, did Harry and Megan promise access to the royal family in their contract with Netflix? Now, this next story we've covered before, but I'm going to cover it again just in case you didn't see it. You know, Harry and Meghan are always going on about online abuse and stop it, stop it, stop it. But yet they called to thank somebody who was abusing William, Catherine, and the children. And when they were asked about it, their response, instead of saying, you know what, this is unnecessary, please don't do this, their response was, no comment. That says a lot. Moving on. Next up, I just want to touch on Michelle and Barack Obama again, because there's a lot of talk about they had their their law licenses removed from them. A very quick and easy search showed that that was absolutely untrue. They voluntarily 
um, and activated their licenses. That way they didn't have to do continuing education. They don't have to pay hundreds of dollars to keep their licenses going. And they could practice law again if they ever chose to. So this is usually where there would be a thin update, but I don't have one today, but I have a very good reason. One of my children went off to college. Um, I was so proud of myself, I didn't cry. Uh, and so Saturday afternoon and evening was spent going through the pile of stuff we have accumulated. It's like moving somebody into an apartment. They need everything. And then we were gone all day yesterday, moving my child hours and hours away from me. And I couldn't bear the thought of leaving Finn outside all that time. It's, it's so hot here, like it's ridiculous. And I certainly didn't want to leave him locked in his crate. So we had him boarded at the vets. I will be picking him up this afternoon. So I'll give you guys a big update on the next video. Okay, sound good? All right, I'm going to close out with this fabulous picture of Queen Elizabeth. I, God, I just love this woman. So to start with, do you guys think that Harry and Meghan are living in that house or do you think they're using it as a staging place to do their videos? Do you guys think that Meghan is going to help the ghost writer write Harry's story? Which couple's gonna get the invite to Brooklyn's wedding? Is it going to be William and Catherine or is it going to be Harry and Meghan? What do you guys think that Netflix is thinking at this point? Did they make a big mistake? Cause I think they did. And now that you've gone back and rewatched the video, what do you think about what's happening with the Invictus games? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future uploads whenever I have them. You guys know you can follow me on Twitter. You know you can email me. Don't forget those comments below. I love to read your comments. Don't forget about my coffee fund. And as always, you guys, have a great day.